Hello GIS friends, this is Michelle Geomatics and today I want to talk with you about updating attributes in the field. I'm going to open my collector app where I have a map of some campus features. I have several features in this project and I want to go out into the field and update them so I want to talk with you about a couple of ways that you can manage updates at the geodatabase level. First, the simplest in terms of not knowing a lot about the geodatabase is to simply make room in your attribute table for field updates. I'm going to click on one of these plus signs. The green ones mean they've already been updated. These are points of interest and as I look at the attributes I see the original point of interest was collected by a field worker named Ashley on March 4th of 2016 and there's a couple of comments here and then somebody else came out and updated that data so there's a yes no domain on the update field and when it's thrown to yes that triggers the symbology to turn green so there's a visual clue that the data have been updated and there were spaces here in the attribute table to account for an update so the field worker the condition on the update the date for the update and a comment for the update so this is one way you can go you can just build your attribute table ahead of time knowing that there's going to be updates to your features or you can add these update attributes down the road when you're ready to send people out in the field and you need some attributes for them to populate you can add new fields to the attribute table for the field worker so that's one way you can go if I tap on one of these features that has not turned green you can see that the information on who collected the data is still there and the update information is yet to be populated. So the idea is when somebody goes to populate the data they will set the update value to yes and that will change the symbol to green. So that's one way. Um, there's drawbacks. The obvious being that if you have multiple updates your attribute table can quickly become quite unwieldy. Another way which is a little more elegant is to take advantage of geodatabase relationship classes or related tables which are supported by the collector app. Not all GPS applications support relationship classes so you'll want to make sure if your app does. Collector supports this geodatabase functionality and it works wonderfully for features that are going to have multiple inspections. So here I have one building feature which is the tan polygon that you see in the middle of the screen. It's a building and I don't need to recollect the building over and over. If I tap on the building you can see the attributes. There's the name, the field worker who collected the data, the condition, and there's a date field that was left unpopulated. I've added a building inspection relationship class here and the beauty of this is I can view inspections that other people have made. So here's a building inspection by someone named Michelle. So let's take a look at that. I see the field worker name, the date, the condition of this visit, and there's a note that says cats everywhere and if we open up the attachment which is a photograph sure enough there's cats everywhere or at least one very special kitty if I go back to the building inspections I see there's another inspection this one by someone named Lynn and I see the relevant information including the attachment I can create a new inspection record simply by coming to new and populating this information. I could add an attachment but I'm just going to submit 
this record. And so now when somebody who's viewing this web map opens up this feature, they can see all of these different inspections and there's plenty of room for more to be made. So this is all managed at the geodatabase level through a relationship class which is set up in this case as a one-to-many relationship and it allows one feature to have multiple inspection entries. Alright, so these are just a couple of ways that you can handle updating attributes for your field assets using GPS, in this case using Collector for ArcGIS. So this is Michelle Geomatics saying goodbye for now. Oh,